like all of us had experienced failure in that time period. Mm. All of us learned how to deal with failure yeah. and learn what it meant. Um, and we all kind of supported each other through understanding what failure was and dealing mm -hmm. with that failure. I and know I, for me, it was really difficult at certain points in time. <laughs> you had to help me with that process. Yeah. Chop had to help me with that process. And so. it was really big. The, the One of the biggest things I think helped make Octave go and what I took away from a leadership role in that point was allowing people to fail, yeah. being okay with it, and going back and reattacking and looking at a different perspective of, Hey, how can we better be better? What do we need to improve on here? Um, you know, so many times I think people that are in leadership positions, they are afraid to delegate because like, well, what if they fail? Well, good. Once they go fail, then they got it out of the way. You know, now if it becomes a repetitive pattern, that's different. That's when you deal with but it. Allow someone to go fail because that's the only, that's, that's the best experience and teacher you're going to give them beyond any words you're going to tell them. Right. Because when they go do it and they have the aha and go, Oh, that's where I went wrong. They understand to avoid that step next time going through more times than not. Um, and sometimes to be honest, uh, even a weird leader, I would put people in positions where I knew they were going to fail because I knew it would teach them the lesson that would help us a year from now, that would help us six months from now. Um, you know, one of my favorite things we ever did was the first splashdown we ever threw. Um, <laughs> I can't tell you how many things we failed on and went wrong and how stressful it was, but that was our first time setting up an outdoor event from scratch. And we tried to put a live stream together. And we for tried it to put a live stream together at the crazy. same time. And I just threw a lot at the team, but I knew if we could all work together and figure out how to get it done, which we did, mm -hmm. um, you know, everything else after that, it's like we're, we started to get to these bigger and bigger events that we were setting up and go like, oh, we've we've done that before. We've been in this position, even if it was smaller, you know, there were even points in time where you were talking about like, hey, we're going to do like an event a week. And I was one of the people fighting you on that. I was like, Jason, I don't think we're ready for that. I don't think this is something we need to do. And you just went full force with it. And it worked. Mm -hmm. It worked. 